um, the the decision to commit suicide, like uh, I think Dr. Sass also mentioned it, is is not something that happens uh, immediately. It's not an action that somebody just thinks about on the spot. It always has to do with you know a lengthy uh, time on depression. You know, you say somebody who has suffered depression because even somebody who's suffered um, a level of depression is a depression that has gone deep and over a long period of time. So there's no way somebody around a friend or a family, uh, a loved one, would not have noticed that this person has changed. We'll talk about those changes late, later. So, so the, the thought, suicidal thought, is actually a symptom of depression. Mm. So, so we need to know that we have responsibility towards those people. There's something that is called survivor guilt. That is the guilt that we ourselves feel when somebody we know commits suicide. Because mm -hmm. at times they commit this suicide, maybe not just to punish us, you know what I mean? Some of them, because they think they're a burden to you, they actually do it on your behalf. So imagine how it feels when you're thinking that somebody actually committed suicide on your on my behalf, you know, on your behalf. That's 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 terrible. That's a thought that many of us would even that can even push us into mood disorder. Yeah. So that somebody is depressed can along the line actually make you depressed if the person goes to the extent of committing suicide. Yeah. So we need to know that we have that responsibility because I I I know that sometimes people will see like some friends that heard we're talking about uh, suicide um, prevention, prevention and it's like how does that concern me so it's not just about somebody who has committed suicide it's about the people around that person who has to live with that problem totally. that this person i know actually committed suicide and i couldn't do anything about because that's when you start telling yourself oh was that why she was behaving somehow Oh, was this why, you know, and all that. And these are things that we can, we see, but we play about it. Yeah. You just see it and say, ah, come on, now, nah, nah. is it you behaving like this? So you could have been more, so, so let's take it serious. Knowing that smooth swings in time can actually progress to somebody having suicidal thoughts. And from a gender perspective, women are three times, you know, more likely to have, to try suicide attempts than men but men are four times more likely to succeed mm -hmm. <laughs> you know to succeed in suicide i think and actually commit suicide mm. so it's something that um it's good that you know this world hell day which is tomorrow that this has been brought to the fore and we can talk about it knowing that is actually depression, anxiety, and all that actually leads, leads to, to suicide. suicide. People start, yeah. it's a mood disorder. People start thinking irrationally. So mm -hmm. if you're not having suicidal thoughts, don't even try to imagine. So don't, don't push it away when somebody is saying things like, I don't want to live anymore. Uh, Shabia will soon die. All of you will be, will be okay. Because we'll be yeah. we hear sometimes, I want to, exactly. So let's know that you can't imagine how that person is thinking. So don't try to understand it what you should do is immediately get the person some help. help.